My name is Chef Ski, James Warneski, and this is Cooking with Ski. This is the uh, flag steak that I chose to pick out of the uh, grocery store. There was not a whole lot of uh, choices that we had. Uh, so this was a pretty good looking one. And what I'm going to be doing now is you can see where I have my brand new razor sharp carbon steel boning knife. And what I'm doing is I am going to go ahead and go through uh, with this uh, to be able to go ahead and trim this out a little bit. Now with uh, boating knives, uh, what you'll see is that you're going to use the tip of your boating knife uh, more than you're going to do everything else. And you very simply just go ahead and use the tip, uh, get up underneath uh, the silver skin or the fat. Uh, we're just going to trim this down just a little bit so you can see where I'm taking off a lot of this fat at the end. We don't need to have this. Uh, so we're just going to clean it up a little bit. And I'm using very little pressure just going through this to go ahead and clean it up just a little bit. And we're just going to be taking off some of the silver skin. skin. You just want to bring your blade down a little bit, point the tip up, uh, and just go ahead and remove uh, whatever silver skin or fat. Uh, it's very easy to do. And just going to go ahead and turn this around. I'm going to turn a little bit more off here. Uh, we don't need to hold this fat on it. Like I said, no point the blade away, tilt it up, get underneath that skin, uh, and just go ahead and cut it right on out. Turn the blade around, and go ahead and just go ahead and clean that silver skin right on up. And as you can see, I am using the tip of my blade to go ahead and clean that out. Definitely want to make sure you have a razor sharp boning knife to do this. It makes the job so much easier. That side looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and flip it on over and take a look at the other side. Now this side's not too bad. Again, uh, just take your tip of your knife, go underneath the skin, lay it away. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, fat that we need to go ahead and remove here. Again, bring your blade underneath. Point it away, tilt it slightly up, and go ahead and clean that up. Just take your time. Get blade under, tip away, slice out, come back, and clean it right up. away bring it right underneath slice it on out and turn around bring the blade back and cut it right on out Bit right here, I'm going to take right on out, and that pretty much looks like we're in a good shape here. It's not competition, so we have to worry about everything. Now, if you're looking at the grain, the grain of the stick is going lengthwise uh, as you see me uh, going through that. So, we're going to go ahead and 
but I go ahead and go ahead and fillet this or butterfly it. I'm going to be starting out from the thick side, which I'm going to do turn around. We're going to go from the thick side uh, to the thin side. So this is the thick side right here. So I'm going to go ahead and fold it on out as I cut the pocket. We're going to go about halfway through, judge about halfway through. You want to hold your hand down, about halfway down. Uh, we're going to start making our incision to start forming uh, that pocket. Just take your time. Again, as you see, I'm using the tip of my blade to go ahead and cut through here. Now we made the first incision. We'll come back to the beginning and continue forth. As you can see, now I am just pulling everything away. As you can see, I am just using the tip of my blade, taking short slices uh, to go ahead and finish up on the butterfly of the steak. I'll continue to do so until we have it pretty much all the way flattened back out again. Just a little bit more. Again, short slices. Now that I have butterfly the steak, what I have now getting ready to do is going to go ahead and pound the steak so I have it uh, in between two uh, sheets of um, cellophane to keep the steak from um, keep everything pulled together. Now this is my meat mallet. I'm going to use the thin side of it and we're going to start pounding and pushing and pulling uh, the steak. This is going to allow it to be able to go ahead and uh, tenderize it right on out. the steak has been uh, tenderized uh, we do see we have it now lengthwise it's been uh, flattened out so it'll cook evenly uh, the lengthwise uh, is that right now we have it tenderized next step is we'll go ahead and start to stuff it now this is a Mediterranean style uh, stuffing with crab so we're going to be starting out with softened cream cheese and you definitely want to use those soft cream cheese. It makes it so much easier to slather uh, the cream cheese all through it. We'll be using about four ounces, four to six ounces of cream cheese for this. Just going to go ahead and slather it on through. Uh, get a nice even coverage to this. the base that laid in uh, for it we're adding in tarragon tarragon is a very nice herb uh, that works very well with seafood crab in particular we're just going to spread it all through and I'll be coming in after that we add more herbs into it I'm going to be adding in basil uh, dry thyme parsley uh, we're going to have a lot of flavor here Filling in with some salt, some pepper, and some garlic. Now that I have the base put together with cream cheese, herbs, now I'm going to be coming in with our crab. The crab is the star of the show here, so we want to make sure we get a, uh, don't skip on it. We make sure that, that we have a full, uh, even coverage of this. Uh, this is going to be so good. Now 
that we have a nice full coverage of the crab. Just tap it down a little bit uh, to uh, make sure everything kind of holds tight. Next step we're going to be doing is going to be using the cellophane. Now you can see why I have kept that there. We're going to use the cellophane to help us roll uh, the flank steaks. As you can see, as I'm using the cellophane to help pull the steak up, the goal is that we want to have a nice tight roll. So we're using the cellophane to help us do this. So as you roll it, you're going to pull the cellophane away so you can get to a point where you can actually start uh, rolling the steak up as you see what I'm doing. We want to make sure we have a nice, tight, uh, even roll. Now that we have it rolled, we go ahead and season the outside of the steak. I'm using my go-to seasoning, very simple, salt, pepper, and garlic. We don't need a whole lot, but we want to make sure that we cover the entire steak, all sides. Most people will stop at this point. I'm taking a step further. This is just me. I'm going to do a bacon weave, as you can see here. Is I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the flank steak into a bacon weave that I created. It's a lattice style. I'll do a show on how to do this. And what I'm going to be doing now is I'm just going to be gradually uh, pulling the edges of the bacon weave up and roll. Uh, the flank steak away, pulling the bacon weave right along with it until we have it completely wrapped in the bacon weave. Now that we have the steak uh, rolled, stuffed, and uh, encased in the bacon, now it's going to go to the grill. So I have preheated my grill. I have it on uh, in direct heat, I have my baskets on two sides. We're putting the uh, steak right in the center. Right now, it's about halfway through. As you can see, now we're starting to get some color on it. And I'm going to go ahead and rotate it over uh, so that it go ahead and cook evenly on the other side. This is now be cooking for about 30, 35 minutes. I have rotated it over. And what I'm going to be looking for is I'm looking for you no know, 145 degrees uh, internal temperature or medium rare, which I now have. I'll go ahead and pull it off the grill, let it sit for 10 minutes so it can rest before I start slicing it. Okay, guys, now this is the reckoning of moment. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and cut this uh, right down the center that you're going to be able to see uh, how this is. Oh, that cuts so easy uh, coming through there. So I'm going to go ahead and spin this around uh, so you can actually see this. Oh, that looks so good. Uh, so I'm actually going to be making this into pinwheels. So I'm going to go ahead and move this off to the side. I'm going to make some pinwheels out of this. Move that out. 
Oh, I got a snack on this. Oh, it's so good, guys. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. So, here you have it. Uh, a bacon wrapped sauteed butterfly uh, flank steak that has been stuffed uh, with crab meat and I'm so right now we're going to go ahead and end this episode uh, because I've got company over and we're all looking ready to enjoy this so I want to thank you very much for watching I'll go ahead and be posting this shortly mm -hmm.